What's going on people? This is Shulk. Doing this video in my car right now. I just feel like it. And sorry if you guys hear my dog barking in the background. She is very uh, protective and vicious. So whenever a car walks by or a person walks by, she will be barking. And no, I cannot roll my window up because I, I guess the motor in my door, I guess is like dying on me. And I can't roll my window back up. Uh, my car is like turning into welfare now. But um, anyways, um, this is a response to Broken Games HD. And I'll, I'm not going to be talking about um, our, our resident Predator, uh, but I will put him down, you know, real fast, real quick. See, here's the thing about Mr. Predator, right? He says, and this is pretty much the reason he, that Broken Games gave as well. They both claim that they didn't report the sales because the sales are still low. Now, here's the thing about Mr. Predator before I get to BG, right? He reported the February Wii U sales. Which was, I believe, 69k, if I remember correctly. That was up from the 55k from January. You guys see where I'm getting at, right? So, and here's the thing, right? Although 69k is still low, he reported it as good news. So, you see, you see exactly what I'm saying, right? His excuse for not reporting these recent numbers is because, well, the numbers are still too low. Yet he reported. 69k over 55k oh good news yeah he reported that you see how i'm saying makes no sense contradiction exposed now why did he report the february news or the february numbers and try to write off as good news think about it people it's obvious now going on to broken games hd now i'm not using this as my main argument bg because I, I i typed this in the comments and you know it wasn't even you know like the main point i didn't even leave it at that or anything like that but I was like, I make a one minute video, show your face for four seconds. You make a nine minute reply to me, right? Now, I'm again, this isn't my main argument. I'm not pulling, oh, you're, you're sensitive. I'm not pulling that card. The point I'm making here with this is that when somebody shows your face for four seconds in a video to make a quick point, and you come at them with a nine minute video, you are guilty as fuck. And it's that easy. It's not about you being sensitive or your butt hurt. I don't do that. It's about you're guilty. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't... I'm not saying if you make a video response to somebody, you're guilty of what they're accusing you for. But I'm saying when it's nine minutes in response to four seconds, that's, that's guilt. You see what I'm saying? That is guilt. Now, let me go ahead and debunk what BG was saying, right? B, again, he was saying pretty much the same thing our resident predator, uh, predator was saying, right? I didn't report it because the sales were still low. But here's the thing, BG. When the news came out that Nintendo sold 3.06 million in 45 days, which is crazy good, phenomenal, almost Wii numbers, right? Did you report that? No, it's, not, and it's that easy. It is that easy. Oh, I didn't report it because although it is an increase, it's still low. When, well, when the sales were good, you didn't report it then. You see what I'm saying? So taking that you know, into mind, you see what I'm saying? How can you blame me or anybody else for that matter? How could you blame us for accusing you of cherry picking? See what I'm saying? Because, let, let's say, here's the thing, a lot of these people are talking about, oh, there is no good Wii, U, good Wii U news to report, right? If there is if there is good Wii U news, we'll report it. Okay, so let's say, let's say after December, there's absolutely no Wii, good Wii U news at all. N none. Not even small good Wii U news. None at all. Let's say that. Okay. When there was good Wii U news... It still wasn't being reported. And it's that easy. Like I said, even if currently January 1st until this point, zero zitch good Wii U news. When there was, it still wasn't reported. It's that easy. And there has been other good Wii U news. Now, it's not necessarily, it hasn't necessarily been your... Big, huge things of things of that nature, but things like you know, like Watch Dogs confirmed for Wii U. Now, here's the thing: oh, well, you know, that's just a multiplat being announced for the Wii U or whatever. You know, that's no big deal. But here's the thing, though: this whole entire community reported 
that Ninja got in Razor's Edge was um you know going to the PS3 and 360. Now here's the thing: when they reported that, it wasn't a oh you know this getting ported over to the PS3 and 360. It wasn't that. Everybody made it out to be this. We is losing. Uh, Wii U is losing third party support. The Wii U is losing a game. That's the mindset they reported this news you know in. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't just. Oh, guys, just want to let you guys know that Razor's Edge has come to 360 and PS3. So pick that up if you haven't, if you don't own the Wii U. It was more like the Wii U is losing Ninja Gaiden and Razor's Edge. That's how it was reported. See what I'm saying? So how come we can report that the Wii U is losing a multi-plat? You see what I'm saying? How come we can report that it's losing a multi-plat, but we can't report that it's gaining a multi-plat? Exposed. It's that easy. Another example just to show the bias that these people claim there there isn't any of right they all bond i don't think bond has done a he didn't do a video reporting that the unreal engine 4 was coming to the wii u but you know he had it on the title of his um channel whatever and you knew the video was was going to come you see what i'm saying you know he was going to make one eventually but he made one after the statement was already retracted but in bg and zaire's case right they both report that the Unreal Engine 4 is not coming to the Wii U. Now, Mark Rain comes out and retracts his statement. Did BG and Zaire report the retraction? No! Exactly! And don't say, oh, Chokyo, giving us some time to get around to it. Oh, you know, of course they're not going to report things instantly. Bullshit. Now, for other people, yeah, you can say that. But we know how BG is. BG puts up 10 videos a day. You see what I'm saying? He puts up news the day, the day it comes out. He puts up a shit ton of videos in a single day. We all know that. So that's not an excuse. And we know how Zaire is. Zaire puts up a video. It's a video response instantly. Trey will put up a video within the hour. Zaire will have a video up responding to Trey. You see what I'm saying? So that is not a legitimate excuse for either of them. So again, did they report Mark Rain's retracted statement? No. Okay, so after all I've said, do you guys see where I'm coming from? Do you see what I'm saying? I understand when there's a particular group saying everybody's biased against us and our company. I understand that can make them look naive, you know, paranoid and whatnot. Oh, they're tripping, they're sensitive. I understand how that could be perceived. But all I'm asking you guys to do is step back, clear your mind, don't let your peers influence you for a second. Just step back and ask and look at what they're reporting and look at what they're not reporting. And it's obvious. And look, you can, and here's the thing. BG also talked about in the previous video, right? He also talked about how he's only going to report news that is relevant to him. And I understand that. I'm the same way, although I'm, I'm not even a news reporting channel, really. I'm not, you know, like them. I'm not really a, a reporter channel. You don't come to my channel for, for news. You come to my channel for my views and my opinions and my arguments. You see what I'm saying? That's what my channel's, you know, based off of. But but here, here's the thing, right? If you could, if you report that the Unreal Engine 4 is supposedly confirmed not to run on, can't, it can't run the Wii U, that means that you care about that topic. You see what I'm saying? You care about whether or not the Unreal Engine 4 can or cannot run on the Wii U. So when the comment is retracted and the opposite is said, you should report that. Because with the first video, you revealed and exposed that that topic is relevant to you. Lastly, to talk about the actual specific sales I was talking about. Sales increasing is good, people. It doesn't matter how you try to downplay it, make all the excuses you want. Guys, don't let BG detract you guys from the point here. Don't let him do it. Yo, yeah, guys, I didn't report it, but but hear me out. Hear me out. This, this, this is why. Good news is good news. Let me ask you a question. Are sales doubling and tripling? Is that good news? Yes or no? Yes, it is. So report it. And I understand, a lot of people in the comments, I saw them saying, oh, well, if the 360 increases from 200 sales to 400, that's double. Is that newsworthy? Good point. Good point. I understand that. That is a very valid point. But it's not that low, people. You see what I'm saying? It changes depending on how small and big the number is. You see what I'm saying? How newsworthy it is. Of course, if it's 
four hundred. I saw this one person was like, if I increase from one sales to two, is that newsworthy? It's doubling. Come on, people. When it's that small, of course not. But the numbers aren't that small. And here's the thing, right? These sales are due to Monster Hunter, an upgraded Wii game that is also a multi-plat for Nintendo gamers, right? Because it's on the 3DS as well. And if you looked on those charts, the 3DS version actually sold more, right? So that's, that's actually like a split user base, a split possible, you know, um, amount of people that could have actually bought it. So the upgraded Wii game that is also a multi-plat for Nintendo gamers pushed Wii U consoles. It doubled and tripled sales. That is good news. And a lot of you guys talk about, oh, well, of course it, it doubled and tripled the sales. It's because the price cut. It doesn't matter if a system price drops, people. If you don't price drop with games, you're really not going to see that much of an increase in sales. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, people bought Wii U's at a discounted price. Yeah, that was definitely an incentive. But they're not going to do that unless they have actual games to play on it, new games that they want. A.K.A. Monster Hunter. Lego City, you see what I'm saying? Whatever. It's that easy. And it's funny how people are saying, oh, well, of course, there's a price drop. When everybody was like, oh, the Vita outsold the Wii U. And the Nintendo fans were like, of course. There was an official, not one retailer, there's an official countrywide by Sony price drop in Japan, $50, and a slew of RPGs came out and are coming out for the Vita. And Nintendo fans were like, of course. And yet you guys didn't want to accept that. But now you guys are like, oh, well, of course, there was a price drop. But when Nintendo fans were saying like, oh, well, of course, there's a $50 price drop for the Vita, excuses, excuses. And now you guys are using the same excuses that Nintendo fans were using. It's that easy, exposed. That's it for this video. I'll see you fools later.